TNT. JJ Native Hi, everybody. Welcome back to yet another doll review video. Well, I might throw a toy or so in there, but maybe not. So let's just get right to it. As most of you know, I have accumulated a lot of dolls and I really hadn't had a chance to show them all. But since I don't work now, I do have time to try to show as many as I can. I did want to get started with most of the dolls that I already had. Oops. Um, this lighting is horrible. I have um, Barbie Fastenisa 185, which is freaking gorgeous. She is adorable with her freckles. I have a plus size uh, Barbie Fastenista with 186 and uh, the 193 doll, which I've had for quite a while. I don't even know why I haven't shown these dolls. But I just thought you guys would be interested in these dolls as well as this doll set, which is Karma's World. And I do believe this is loosely based on uh, Ludacris's daughter. Um, I love this little play set. I thought it was adorable. It was $34 at Walmart. And I thought that you guys would like to see this. It does come with a collectible record, which you can see over here. It has a speaker and all that. So let's just get into these dolls so that we can enjoy all of it. All right, guys. This is, I want to say, doll 185. She is very pretty. I want you guys to get into these freckles if you can see them on her face. Let me get down there. Can you see those beautiful freckles on her face? She has beautiful hazel eyes. I think that is so interesting. Her lips are mauve, but these freckles give me everything. Now there is a little bit of something over her eye if you can see that. But other than that, she is a curly girl. It is in a ponytail and it is kind of stiff. Um, she does have this plastic band around her head that can come off. I'm not going to take that off because I think it's really cute on her. Her dress is blue and white and it looks like it's like um, acid washed, bleach washed. It's really cute. It does come off the shoulders. She does have some uh, plastic um, straps on the top. It does Velcro at the back. Does it go all the way down the back? Yep, it Velcros all the way down the back. That's different. That's pretty cool that it velcros all the way down the back and yeah she has on those infamous white boots that they normally throw on the plus size model but these are really cute i like these boots but yeah she is adorable she is adorable and she's just a, a regular body barbie she's not like ultra thin or anything but she's adorable beautiful girl she's like a coco to me you know, I'm never going to remember these names. The only names that I even remember is Kalani and, and the, the other ones. I mean, some of them. But Kalani, because Kalani is my guy. I don't. He's upstairs, and I haven't bought him downstairs in a minute. But let's put her against one of the naturalistas. Now, this is one of the first naturalistas I've got. I'm waiting on the other ones to come from. Um, actually, where did I order them from? Amazon. And every time, they're always going back to September, September, October. I'm like, you know what? Anyway, here is she is compared to a naturalista. They both have heels on, so they're like 11 inches, 12, 11 inches, 11 and a half inches to 12 inches tall. They're both very beautiful girls. So yeah, this is Barbie Fastenista number 185. I hope you guys like these uh, Barbie Fastenistas. I guess the new ones are coming out. I don't know if this is a new one or not. I just be I have them and forget about them, and then I'm like I need to show them. But her face is very pixelated. Can you see that? How pixelated her face is? Very pixelated. Very shiny. But she is smiling. And she has this pose. Which I really. I'm, I'm kind of getting used to. The. Um, the articulated bodies. A little bit more. But she has uh, the silhouette. Type stance with the hands on the hip. Let me see if she can stand. Because she has on two left shoes. Or two right shoes. Come on, stand for me, girl. Nah, she's not going to do it. But she is very pretty. Very pretty girl. I hope you guys like her. I think she's lovely. I'm going to try to stand her against the chair, but that's not going to work. Let's try to stand her against the wall. There she goes. There she is. Next is Barbie Fastenista number 186. And she is a curvy girl. 
Now she has these braids under here, which I love, which is a mauve color. I love this because I love coloring my hair. I, I have mauve party caps, but I rarely wear them. This I would wear. This is so pretty, so pretty. And as you can tell, she has on a darker lipstick. This lighting is horrible, horrible. I'm telling you horrible. I think that's a little better. Um, she has a mauve lipstick. Her eyes are also like hazel. Her eyebrows are to die for. Now she has on earrings. I really take the jewelry out because once I take it out, I never put it back in. Her dress is cute. It says love all over it with a yellow and white stripe going out to the side on the front. In the back, it's all pink and it does Velcro at the back. Now this is a cute outfit. And she also has that um, silhouette where she just stands with the hand against her hip like girl, whatever. But yeah, she's articulated at the arm, the shoulder, basically the shoulder, I'm sorry, the shoulder goes up and down, has good range of motion, her leg, her head goes side to side, up and down. Just the five points for articulation for these girls. Yes, but I do love this doll. This doll is gorgeous. I love a plus size doll. I'm Like I said, I'm really happy that uh, Maytel did decide to come out with these plus size dolls. And I think I have like one of the first plus size dolls that they came out with. I love that doll. I had her on my table for about a couple of years and I finally took her off now. Ask me where she is. I tell you no lies, I don't know. But she's here. Let's lean her up against. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. She has on white tennis shoes. This is cute. You know. Maybe they should have made this into like a jumper. You know, she do got the hips. Thank God she has a butt. Thank God. Thank God. All right. You be running here getting a BBL. Okay, guys. For our next Barbie Fastinista. It is number 193, and this is a Slim Ken doll. Now, he looks Asian. I don't know. His face, he has a little, I don't know, like a little dot there, like a mole, but I don't think it is. But his face isn't pixelated. He has a neutral lip. His eyes look blue or gray. She's got me all in the dang old camera. And his hair is asymmetrical he looks like this guy from this tv show i can't remember the tv show that it was but it was like a, re a weird show it looks like he's supposed to have flocking but it's just plastic it's not real flocking but i do like that i mean you don't have to worry about it falling off but that's pretty cool he doesn't have any earrings on his ears are perfect do you see his ears he's cute i like his outfit it has it's peach with uh lightning bolts on it and it velcros at the back and this velcro all kinds of way girl i promise you it came out the box like that um he does have a little hoodie that he can put on it's kind of hard but let's see let's see what you look like boo that's cute that's cute all right all right that's cute it does velcro at the back like i said and then he does have on black joggers i guess i don't think they're joggers they're straight leg they just pull on and he also has like a cream type of slider she want. All right. Let's see if you stand over there, buddy. Yeah. So what do you guys think of these fastinistas? You know, I love them. I love them. And you know, I don't know if they're the same height because of her heels, but she does seem to be a little bit taller. Let me take off her heels to see. Yeah, she is a little bit taller, but I don't think because of the... The shoes, I think it's because she stands on her tiptoes. Ah, do all the Barbie fastenesses that don't have any artic I mean that where the heels have tiptoes. I've never paid attention. Whereas she has flat feet. Hold on. Now this is Barbie Fastenista 177. Let's see what her what her feet look like. Yeah, she's on her tiptoes too. I guess if they got the heels on since they aren't articulated. I guess they all I guess since they don't, they're not articulated, I guess they stand on their tiptoes. I don't know. But yeah. So how do you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed these uh, Barbie Festinistas. Let's get on with Karma's World. Guys, I forgot to show on the back of her box. Um, this is so cool. And for 30, I, what did it pay? 37, 39? 
something like at Walmart. I can't remember. I have to go back and see what I paid for it. I said it the first time. I forgot. You know, I'm old. It shows you all the stuff that she has, which is really cute. And I really, really like these dolls. I was going to get the three set, but I'm like, no, I'll just get her because I'm going to end up giving her away the whole set. And I'm giving her to my granddaughter. I already know that I'll be giving that to her. But if you can see over here, it just says unique music clip. I guess if um, I don't know what you would do with that. What would you do with that? It's got instructions because it's saying that you can have a unique music clip and it's coming August of 2022. So I guess it's already plays on Transforming Musical Star Stage. Oh, you have to get the star stage in order to play it. Oh, no. Is that it? Let's see. Is this it right here? Let's see. All right, guys. Here she is. Um, this is Karma from Karma's World, like I said before, and I think she is Lucy based on Ludacris's daughter. Um, she did come with a album, an album cover, and it says that it can play on one of her other accessories, which is coming in August. It's the Transforming Musical Star Stage, and it's sold separately. So you you can't play this on. The, I thought this could go on there, but when I looked on the back, it was like empty. But it is uh, room for storage. So you can put stuff back there. Um, the album does have a code on the back. I guess you can use your phone to figure out what that code does. I'll probably do that later. The album comes out of the package. And you can just pop it on to the speaker like that. There it is. The speaker is purple with white circles. It's pretty cool and a beautiful teal color. Now, I did try to save that background. I think I did a pretty good job of saving the background. Um, I did have a few little spots that did rip. I didn't take this all the way off, but this is really cool that you can use this backdrop as a little stage for her. Now, she is really cute. Her hair is curly. She did have on a hairnet, two of them exactly. And it took me a while to get them off. I was trying to make sure I didn't destroy her hair, but it's a really pretty. It's really curly and bouncy and the curls are really soft. Just a little bit of product in the hair in the front, but for the most part, this hair is gorgeous. Now she's about 10 inches tall. If you compare her to a, oh, I forget the name of these freaking dolls. I always forget the name of the doll. She is a little bit shorter because he's maybe 10 inches. So she may be eight inches tall. Is it in, oh, I forget the name. Of the oh, she can stand. I, she wasn't standing for me earlier. Now, this is crazy. How can I forget the name of dolls? Tell me the name of the dolls in the comments, guys. His hair is really curly. But yeah, she is shorter than um, these dolls. Um, let's see. Let's buy a rainbow high doll. Get on over here. Quit playing it wrong. She's, yeah, she's uh, pretty short. She's about eight inches tall, guys. I'm going to tell you that right now. I knocked over a little speaker. I mean, her little um, little podium with the music stand. So she does come with, look at me going all up on her. Oh, she is cute. Like, look at that girl. Look at her eyes. She is beautiful. Her eyes are kind of pixelated, though, but she is beautiful. She does have a design on the side of her head. It's like braids. But they are, you know, just molded in with a little, she has her little baby hairs. And these are in her head. I guess you can remove them if you want it. But I would lose it if I did. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. And I did have her standing up for a second. Now, her outfit is really cute. It has, like, different design of microphones and music notes and um, all kinds of little um, lightning bolts and stuff on it. It is a one piece. I thought it was two pieces. And it does Velcro in the back. This is really cute, really cute. I like her a lot. It looks like it's two pieces because of the waist. She does have a, a fake pocket in the front, but this doll for the most part is pretty, pretty. Her head turns back and forth, articulation up and down a little bit. Her arms go in and out. Her legs go out, but she does bend at the knees, guy. guys. She does bend at the knees. Her feet don't move, but she has on really cute shoes that can probably fit a Barbie Fastinista. These are really cute. I think she's a gorgeous doll. Let's see if we get her sitting down in her little chair. She does come with this yellow chair, which is really cute. And I think a Barbie can fit in there. 
She comes with this musical stand in which I think that the Barbies can also sit in those musical stands. I mean, stand at the musical stand. It might be a little bit too short for them. Here is a Barbie doll, one of my favorites. She also has the plastic flocking on the side, never pay attention, but she is just a little bit tall for that and for that too. So let's see about the chair. That would be a no-go. So anyway, this is probably just meant for her. Is this, what is, are they Incredible World dolls? Nah, he seems to fit just fine. He fits just fine in that the Incredible World doll. Is it Incredible World? I can't remember. Anyway, let's get back to Karma. Karma is adorable. I promise you she is. Now, with her other accessories besides the chair, she comes with a little musical station with another speaker over here on the side. She does have an or she has a audio control that you can be that can be removed. It's cute. It's just plastic, simple blue plastic. And a little computer to set up for the bass and the auto-tune and all that. You know, a lot of auto-tuning going on out, around out there. Looks like it says boo. Can you see that? Boo. What's that? Bit? Now, I didn't have to put the stickers on, but they came put on. But they are kind of cronky. The sticker was just kind of rushed and put on. But I guess it's better the problem what I would have did. Yeah, these are both stickers. And all the stickers came in place with everything she does have a headset, a yellow headset. Let's see if we can get this on her. It fits, but it probably is going to mess up her hair. Uh, yeah, I might have this all backwards. It might go the other way. I don't know. I think it does. There it goes. She is freaking adorable and she can stand. Well, she was standing. Don't don't show off. He is always trying to show off when you're trying to do stuff with him. There she goes. And then she passed out. There you go. Let me sit her down in her chair. She does come with this mic, guys, which is really cool. Now, none of the parts are um, removable, but you can't. Well, I thought this scooted up and down, so it can't do anything but stay like this, guys. It does have a star on there. It's gold. Everything is molded together. I thought you would be able to scoot it up and down, but I was disappointed, but I believe you can. It does come apart, but since it's, I'm sorry, it does come apart, but you really can't move it up and down. It can only stay like right here, only in the same spot. A music podium that also has a sticker with uh, music on there, musical notes, and it has a little knob like you can turn it up and down, but you can't. It's all molded together, and they all have the little star on the back. And she does come with a drink that she can actually hold. She has a little pink drink that she can hold. It's really cute. It's just solid. It's just a solid piece of um, pink plastic. I love this chair. It has the uh, fake wheels. It doesn't move, but it's just right for her. All right, guys. Would you guys add this to your, your doll collection? I think she's adorable. I really think she's adorable. I love this backdrop, how it fits in. And you can use that as a background for her this is really cute with the studio in the back everything's there it's really cute even with the door it's really nice i love the microphone aspect of everything i love that i love this i love this and i also love that she has a guitar a purple guitar guys it's really cute all right guys here she is in all her glory this is karma's world and i think this doll is adorable she comes with pretty good accessories and I think it's a nice price and I think the background is a plus if you guys are into these dolls. Um, I want to make sure that you guys don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I don't know why I'm sounding like this, but just make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to make sure that you are following my videos when I drop them randomly. Okay, randomly. I promise you randomly but I'm trying to get them out as much as possible I'm still doing the little shorts on YouTube as well as being on Instagram as well as TikTok so make sure you follow me on those I'll try to put a link in the description but uh, there is no promises that it's gonna happen but anyway I will see you guys later thank you very much for subscribing and watching if you're new welcome 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 if you've been here for a while I love you guys thank you for staying and yeah I will see you 
next time. Bye. All right, guys, y'all ready for this beat? Are you ready for this beat? I am the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man I am. Say, I am the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man I am. Oh, oh, can you get into what I'm saying? Can you know what I do? I make my muffins every day. I do it just for you. How was that? How was that? How was that? How was it? Did you like it? Um, sure. I mean, you're not trying to, I mean, it was pretty cool. I think it was adorable. You did good. Thank you. Thank you. I thought I did really good with the Muffin Man part. I tried to do the, the Muffin Man I am. I think it's pretty cool. Quit hating. I'm not hating, you know. It's just that. Last week it was a Pumpkin Man. This week is a Muffin Man. I don't know. What do you want to sing? Muffin or Pumpkin? Let's do both. I'm ready. Hi, Karma. How are you? You look like you're kind of tired. You've been rapping all day and making music. I am so proud of you. You are such a good girl. Yes, yeah, such a good girl. I just, she's such a good girl. My aunt is always so nice to me. Very nice. Bye, guys. See you later. I am the Muffin Man. I'm the Muffin Man. I am. I am the Muffin Man. I cook because I can't get that out.